Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the blanket stitch. And this is the blanket stitch that you see here. It has a very subtle texture. It's made simply of single crochet and double crochet stitches worked in a row. It's a very beautiful stitch. It works up quickly. You're going to love this stitch because it doesn't use up a lot of yarn. It's not a big yarn eater. So if you'd like to crochet along, grab your yarn and a matching crochet hook and let's get started. If you are new to my channel or have been here and are back, welcome and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to update it weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So once you have your yarn and your hook ready, first thing you're going to do is make your slip knot. And for this pattern you are going to need a multiple of three chains in your starting chain. So you will want to crochet uh, a number of chains that is a multiple of three. For our swatch today, I'm going to begin by chaining 15 chains. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. and then you can have your chain as long or short as you'd like just as long as that starting chain has a multiple of three stitches. So to begin row of one you are going to start by working two double crochet stitches in your third chain from your hook. So if you count in your chains this is the first chain from your hook there's one two and in this third chain you are going to work two double crochet stitches. To work your double crochet stitch you're going to yarn over insert your hook in that stitch that's indicated, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through your last two loops. That's your double crochet stitch. You're going to do one more in that same stitch. Next, you will skip the next two chains. There's one, two, and in the next stitch you're going to work one single crochet stitch followed by two double crochet stitches, all in the same chain. From now until the end of your starting chain, you're going to repeat that process. You're going to skip the next two chains, one, two, and in the next chain, work one single crochet, followed by two double crochet stitches all in the same stitch. You're going to repeat that for the number of stitches you desire or until you reach the end of your chain. Skip two, single crochet, and two double crochet stitches. When you come to the final chain or final stitch, in your foundation chain there, you're going to finish with one single crochet stitch, so you'll skip your next two, and finish with one single crochet stitch in that last stitch. And that is the end of row one. For row two, you are going to turn your work, you're going to chain two stitches, and you will now work two double crochet stitches in that same foundation stitch. So your first stitch there, work two double crochet stitches. Next you are going to skip those next two double crochets and you're going to work the single crochet and two double crochet stitches in the next single crochet stitch. So skip the next two stitches in the next stitch, work your single crochet and your two double crochet stitches. And you're going to repeat that all the way across once again. Skip the next two stitches in that next single crochet stitch, work one single crochet, followed by two double crochet stitches. Skip the next two stitches in the next single crochet, 
work one single crochet and two double crochet stitches. When you come to your final stitch, your final three stitches, you will skip the first two and then in the top of that turning chain, that two chains there that you had from before, you're going to just single crochet in the top of that turning chain. And that is the end of row two. From here on end, it's quite simple. You're going to turn your work in chain two and you're going to repeat that row two once again all the way across. Two double crochet stitches in that first stitch. Skip the next two stitches and in the next single crochet work your single crochet and two double crochet stitches all in the same stitch. So that's all there is to it, to this stitch. As you can see it will work up quickly because you're not working any puff stitches or heavily textured clusters it doesn't use up too much yarn at all there for you. I think it just has a beautiful texture, beautiful subtle texture, and it looks quite pretty in a variety of yarn types. There you have it. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you later. Happy crocheting. Bye.